Next, I'll try and uh, take you some of, to show some of the highlights. Uh, so the most obvious highlight from a uh, breast cancer perspective was the plenary session which was held yesterday where the results of the much awaited uh, Destiny Breast 04 study were presented by Dr. Shanu Modi. Uh, this, this was a landmark trial in the HER2 low setting which has uh, in the past couple of years been identified as a targetable subset of breast cancer which it was not previously. Uh, they randomized patients with HER2 low breast cancer, which is defined as HER2 1 positive by IHC or HER2 2 positive but uh, FISH negative to Trastuzumab deoxtecan versus physician choice chemotherapy. 90% of these patients had received uh, hormone uh, were hormone receptor positive and had received either received one line of endocrine therapy and at least one line of chemotherapy previously. Uh, there was a substantial uh, progression free survival as well as an overall survival advantage. Uh, which would pave the way for, I think, a soon regulatory approval for TDXD in this uh, setting. Uh, a more interesting analysis was uh, there was a small proportion of patients which were triple negative uh, in this uh, study, which also again showed a substantial benefit. Although this was an exploratory analysis, this is again uh, thought provoking and would uh, be interesting to see how we would then sequence drugs in a metastatic triple negative setting or if we would see larger trials which would then compare TDX in a larger triple negative trial to existing chemotherapy regimens or to sasituzumab. Uh, the other the concerning thing about TDX is it's a wonderful drug. It works across the spectrum of HER2 positivity, but the ILD is around 10 to 12 percent, which is a concerning side effect. The uh, Dr. Modi did show data that there were three deaths in the control arm, which were treatment related. So that is something which we obviously need to understand more about. Uh, and the other thing which I uh, which I did highlight previously as well that most of the world still does not have access to TDXD, so that is something which again needs to be worked on. Uh, the other uh, other couple of things which were significant as well was the final OS results of the Paloma study, which looked at palbocyclib uh, plus endocrine therapy in uh, first line metastatic breast cancer, which did not significantly improve overall survival. Uh, these results were much awaited uh, and although the study was not positive for its, for its primary endpoint, we still do not have comparative data on the various CDK4-6 inhibitors in the first line setting. Uh, whether you would whether we would change practice and not put future new patients on palbocyclib is a question which is like which is burning in the best oncology community right now and we would uh, we would uh, we would definitely not want to shift patients who are doing well to another drug uh, unless they progress. But maybe this would uh, prompt oncologists to uh, ribocyclip or a bimacyclip till we have a head-to-head -head study, which I saw recently that uh, uh, Novartis may launch in the coming future. Uh, the other plenary sessions, the uh, just going away from breast oncology for a second, there was another, there was a very interesting uh, plenary on recurrent Ewing sarcoma, which is actually the first ever randomized trial on uh, in recurrent Ewing sarcoma, where they showed that uh, which it was basically the the good thing about that is that the group from Dr. McCabe at in UK showed that you could do a randomized trial in a cancer as well as Ewing sarcoma, which I think is a major achievement in itself. And that's why it actually deserved a plenary. Uh, although the gains were modest, uh, high dose ifosfamide did show some EFS and overall survival advantage. It just highlights that uh, rare cancers do need to be uh, highlighted, more work needs to be done uh, in, that, uh, in that field as well. There has been a lot of interesting work presented in the immunotherapy and the phase one uh, trials as well, which, uh, will, which I think will get more interesting as we get more phase two and phase three data and when it becomes uh, practice changing.